Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the Postgres SQL PG Admin 4 to import CSV data into a database table. To do that, we will create a table in a database and import the CSV file into the table. There are different ways we can use the Postgres PG Admin 4 to create a table. I will show you two different ways to use the PG Admin 4 to create a table and import a CSV file into the table. Now let me show you the file that we are going to import into our table. I have a folder on my desktop and I named it AIDEV and inside this folder I have a CSV file. The name of the CSV file is visitors.csv. Let me open it in notepad so that we can see the content of the file. Open with notepad. This is my CSV file and it has 1000 contact names in it. I got this file from the monkroot.com website. This file has some column header names. ID, first name, last name, email, gender and IP address. So we will create a table with these header names. To do that, I will open Postgres PG Admin. Click on Servers. And it shows now that I have four databases. I will expand it. Great. It shows the databases that I have. And I'm going to use one of them. I will use this one named Transport. You can also create your own database. We expand this one. And I will expand the schemas. Let me scroll down. And for tables, I will expand it. Yes, now it shows that I have two tables in my database at the moment. And I am going to create another one. Once again, there are different ways we can create a table in Postgres SQL with the PG admin. Now I will right click here, tables create table let's use this method first before i show you the second method now it says name i will give it a name contacts now click on columns because we are going to add those columns to it i mean the column headers and here click on this plus sign add row the first one there is id and I'm going to make it Varchar, that is character varying as it is named in Postgres SQL. And type in here character, and this one will come up. I will click this option, character varying, which is Varchar. Length precision, I will leave it as 15. Then click on this plus again to add another row. This time, the first underscore name. Again, Vacha, varying character, character varying. This time, I will make it 30. Add another row, click on this plus sign. This time, to be last underscore name. Also, character varying, Vacha, also 30. Add another row. This will be for email. Also, Vacha, that's character varying. I will set this one to 40. Then, and another row. This one will be for gender. Again, I will set it to Vacha, that's character varying. I will set this one to 16. Let's add the last row there. That will be IP underscore address I will also make it Vacha that is character varying you can set it to any data type but I'm just using the same data type for this example character varying the length I will set it to 15 great now we can save our table click on save great it was created successfully 
and here now I have three tables which means another one has been added which is contacts this is the one we've just created so those columns are exactly the same as the ones we have here but they don't have to be the same however they need to be the exact same number that is if you have six columns here your table should also have six columns now that we have created our contacts table let's import the csv file into it to do that right click on the table that you want to import data into in this case contacts now go to import slash export data great this window will open if you have imported data before it will show here which is in my case so i need to delete this one I will click on this browse icon to navigate to where I am going to import my data from. Great, you can navigate to the location of your file. In my case, this is the location, AI dev, and the folder is on my desktop, and this is the file. So I'll click on it here and open it. Now I will click OK. Great, process started, process completed which means it was imported successfully into the database table. Now, to view the content of our table, we can right click on it and click on query to here or simply click here, tools, query to. Any of them will open the same query tool for you. Great. Now with the query window open, let's type in here, select star from, that is select everything from the name of your table, in our case contacts semicolon, and now click on execute query, continue, great, it says here successfully run, and now if you look at it, I have these results. Let's move this one up a bit. Great. Now we can see the results of our table. Before I go further, here it says total rows 1000 of 1001. Remember, I said that this file has 1000 names of contacts. But why is it 1001 now? This 1001 because the column headers have all been added to it. So this row is also added to it, making it 1001. I will show you in a minute how to handle that if you don't want to add it to it. Now let's scroll to the bottom of it. Exactly, here it shows 1000. I am going to move this one down a bit. Great. Now, if you look at it here, we have ID, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address. And here we also have row one, ID, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address. And we don't want this one to be duplicated. How do we handle that? Well, in this case, I am going to delete everything here and add it again. I will show you how to do that. Now, right click and click on truncate. Are you sure you want to truncate table contacts? Yes, table truncated. What that means is our table is not deleted, but the content is not there anymore. For example, if I run this query again, execute query, continue. Yes, now it shows the headers, but the content is not there anymore. Now let's import the CSV file again, but this time with had the header files. To do that, right click on the name of the table, in our case contacts, import export data. Here for options, click on this one here, turn this one on, which is for header, delimiter, comma, quote, and everything, leave them as they are by default. Just turn this one on for now, then click OK. Great, it says process started, process completed. 
which means everything was done correctly. Now let's run this query again. Execute query. Continue. Exactly. This time it says 1000 of 1000, which means the header is not imported. Now if you look at it here, row 1 is just the ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. So row 1 has been omitted. If we scroll to the bottom, exactly everything here is 1000. So this is how you can import your CSV file into Postgres SQL with the PG admin without writing the query. But there is another way we can do it whereby we have to write the query. I will quickly show you that one. So in this case, I am going to delete this table. Contacts. Delete. Yes. Now we have only two tables. The contacts table has been deleted. Now I'll close this one. Don't save. Now for the second method of creating a table, I am going to create it with SQL. To do that, I will go to the tools option and click on query tool. And I'm going to type in the code. I'll say here, create table, if not exist, the name of the table, contacts, ID, voucher, 15, comma, first underscore name, voucher, 30, comma, last underscore name, voucher 30 comma email voucher 40 comma gender voucher i will put system here comma ip underscore address i will also set it to voucher varying character and i will put that one at 15 semicolon that's after the last uh, closing bracket let's move them together now let's execute this query execute query yes continue great the table was created successfully now to see it here we need to refresh it right click on it refresh exactly now we have three tables contacts is here now let's import the csv file into our table to do that Right click on the table and go to import export data and this window will open. Again, if you have uploaded something before, it will show here. I'm going to delete this one and navigate to the location of the file that I want to import. It is the same file anyway, I just want to repeat the process. I will browse here. And this is the file that I want to import, visitors.csv file. Look for your file and import it. Now we click open. Now I will click OK. Exactly. Process started, process completed, which means it was imported successfully into our database table. Before I write the query to view the content of our database table, I will comment this one out. To do that, select it and press Ctrl and forward slash together on your keyboard and it will turn everything to a comment. Once again, the shortcut is Ctrl plus forward slash. If you are on a Mac, that will be Command and forward slash. Now, I'm going to write this query here. Select star from I select everything from the name of the table and the name of our table is contact semicolon now I am going to execute this query continue exactly it says query run successfully and this is the result of our query
let me move this one up a bit so that we can see everything now I will scroll to the bottom of the result page exactly here it says 1000 and here it shows total rows 1000 of 1000 once again remember that this file contains 1000 contact names so this is how you import csv file into postgresql using the pg admin for tool i hope you learned something from this video thank you for watching remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel see you in my next video bye for now